93% of people will never get lean. You're probably never going to get lean and it's only going to get worse unless we change that in this video. It's getting easier and easier to Uber Eats where fast food restaurants are popping up where you live and even the nutrient labels on the foods you're eating aren't accurate. According to Harvard School of Public Health, by 2030, less than seven years from now, 50% of us will be obese and 25% of us will be severely obese. The main reason why you've never seen your six pack is not what you may think. Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Diamonds and I'm the founder of Scott by Science. I've dedicated a decade of my life to health sciences. Remembering correctly, we didn't spend more than one to two days in my 10 years of pre-med and med studying nutrition. In this video, I'm going to share with you the honest and transparent reason why you're never going to get lean. Before I could make this transformation happen and truly get lean, it would have been near impossible to make this transformation without the changes I'm about to share with you in this video. Watching this video alone will be the key to finally unlock your goal of finally getting lean. I can guarantee that you're either making the one mistake or all three of these mistakes and that is stopping hundreds of millions of people seeing this result and it's exactly why I'm making this video. To be able to help this channel for the YouTube algorithm, if you want to support exactly what I'm doing, scroll down, it takes one second and I promise it's free, hit the video with a gentle thumbs up, that helps me and that helps the person searching for this content because they're stuck and I'll greatly appreciate it. So a gentle thumbs up, subscribe if you're new so you can be up to date with the latest information and the honest information and hit the notification bell if you want to be up to date but let's move on into the next tip the first one it is the equivalent of playing any game on hard mode it's not fun you're giving it your best effort with your health and fitness and you're still seeing no results i call it the equivalent of oil without the right oil in your car it's never gonna go the distance the engines are never gonna work and you're never going to get to that position and that you're never going to hear from any Anybody in fitness you're always going to hear caloric deficit you're always going to hear training but the first reason that will stop most people from ever getting to the result is sleep unfortunately I need to be the guy I need to be the one to bring the bad news but that is the person who I want to be because I know when we change this you're finally going to get the results you need so it is very likely and even according to my research most individuals are sleep deprived sleeping less than seven hours each and every single day and this is why sleep is the equivalent of the oil in the car the car's engine the plane's engine can never function if you never give it the right oil sleep has the ability to change the internal chemistry of your body. Sleep is the key that will be able to unlock your potential to finally being able to see the results. Once you're able to shift from less than seven hours of sleep and get into the realm of seven hours of sleep and more, you will see your results change. I've worked with hundreds of clients who I first only focused on rectifying their sleep to finally allow them to be able to see their results. It changed everything and I'm going to tell you exactly the science behind why sleep is so important. So the first thing that you're doing when you're not getting enough sleep is you're changing your internal chemistry. One of those is hormonal imbalances. When you're sleeping less hours, two hormones are changed in the body. The first one is ghrelin. Ghrelin is the main hormone responsible for hunger and appetite. With less sleep, your ghrelin tends to spike and you're going to eat more calories consequently. So you're going to feel hungrier all the time just because you're getting six hours of sleep or five hours or less less. Being able to get more sleep will change your ghrelin. The second hormone is leptin. Leptin is responsible for making us feel full. So with less sleep, we have a decrease in leptin. So when you're eating a meal, you just never feel full. Or you may eat the meal and an hour later, you may notice I'm hungry again. And that is because of those two hormones being in play, getting less than seven hours of sleep. And imagine trying to go through a month, two months, three, even six months of dieting, feeling hungry all the the time it is close to impossible the second factor that hurts you tremendously with trying to get lean is insulin insulin functions as the key that allows glucose to move from the blood into your muscle and into the different organs
organs in your body. However, when you're sleeping less, your insulin is impaired. That key is just not working the same. So when glucose is hovering in your blood, your body has no choice but to store that glucose as fat. So with less sleep, you're impairing the main key responsible from being able to dictate your ability to utilize that glucose in the right way and it gets stored as fat. So insulin sensitivity is massive. Research has shown countless times the main muscle building hormone testosterone decreases with less sleep. So you're going to the gym five days, six days, maybe even seven days a week. However, you're training on far less testosterone because you're sleeping less and you'll start buying testosterone boosters and you'll go to your doctor, you'll do a blood exam and you'll be told that your testosterone is low. The one thing that I've seen being able to dictate your testosterone level isn't any medication, it's none of those. It is being able to shift your testosterone levels by getting more sleep. So you'll be able to build more muscle by getting more sleep. Another thing that happens when you're sleeping less is the hormone serotonin, the happy hormone, is decreased with the combination of feeling hungry. You're not feeling as happy as you normally would. Your body and brain tends to look for ways to be able to increase your serotonin and that typically has to do with food. You're going to be more inclined to eat highly palatable foods. You're going to be craving something sweet. You're going to look at that cheesecake. You're going to look at that Dunkin Donut or Krispy Kreme a little bit extra and you're just going to get to the weekend after a week of hard dieting craving something sweet or something savory and you'll be snacking on the nuts and it makes it so difficult to finally be able to see the results you want because you're fighting cravings on the weekend because you've been dieting super hard because you want your results so badly. Finally, your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, decreases with less sleep. And the list is continuous. With all the functions that sleep has, it changes everything within your body. And as you can see, it makes the entire experience so much more difficult in terms of seeing results. I also want to say, I have been able to get results sleeping less. However, and in all honesty, I was doing so much more cardio that truly wasn't sustainable. I was eating very little calories in the beginning that wasn't sustainable and this is a mistake I made in my first year when I got to that 12-10% but I knew that it wasn't going to be sustainable and I had to reset my metabolism. So again, can you see your six pack sleeping? Yes. Yes. Is it going to be very difficult? Yes. And with that being said, this is an ad. I help a tremendous amount of people who've been trying this on their own for years. They've been trying to see their six pack. They've been trying to get their energy back. They've been trying to finally be in the best shape of their life. And they've never been able to do that because they're a busy professional. They're running a company or they're ahead at their company and they need to pay a lot of attention to people that they're working around. And also you spend a lot of time with your family. So it's very difficult to pay attention to yourself. If you finally want somebody to help you who can get guarantee that you will finally see your six pack or get into the shape of your life and get lean, get your energy back, allow you to perform optimally. You want to be at your peak performance? I am your guy. You'll be able to work with me directly. It is an incredible experience. I do the heavy lifting. All you need to do is execute. If you want to work with me, if you want me to personally coach you, go into the description down below, fill out the application. And I only want to work with individuals who know, hey, this is exactly what I need. And I want to finally get my my result. But if that is not you, that's okay as well. I am going to give you all the information you need in this video and all the other videos coming. So do me the favor, gently hit the video the thumbs up. So the solution to being able to improve your sleep is make it small, but make it gradual. So if you're getting a consistent six hours of sleep, focus on just getting 30 minutes more. And that may be doing a few different things before and I'll explain that, but let it be gradual and don't put so much pressure on yourself. So if the first thing is improve your sleep hygiene. It may be your phone that is stopping you from sleeping early too long. Basically, improve your sleep hygiene. Set yourself up with a sleeping routine. I am going to link my sleeping routine in the description of this video. The second thing that I've seen that has helped my clients tremendously is the problem isn't waking up. The problem is going to sleep. So if you have an alarm to wake up, why don't you have an alarm to let you know that you should go to bed? So at 8.30 p.m., each and every single day, I set an alarm to tell myself, hey, Mike, non-negotiable, it is time to put down the laptop, 
decrease your stress levels, put the lights off and dim everything around, get a shower and then get to bed and maybe read a book and I try and keep my phone away from me. I've even gone as far as deleting apps on my phone that I know have kept me up because I want to be able to see and reply to messages, set yourself with a good sleeping routine and that will give you 30 minutes to even an hour a day and be very strict with yourself because sleep is everything. So with that being said, let's move to tip number two. Is you're doing the wrong cardio? Let me explain. Personally, I believe I've walked into hundreds of gyms. I've trained in Dubai, I've trained in South Africa, I've trained in Russia, I've trained in the United Kingdom. I have been in a gym in Cuba. And the equipment that's being utilized the most, more than the weights, is the cardio machines. Treadmills are always full, the bike is always full. However, 93% of the people doing cardio are doing cardio incorrectly. Let me explain. Cardio in itself is a cardiovascular exercise. Its main function is to burn more calories. That's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no massive difference between high intensity interval training or low intensity interval training. The one thing you need to ask yourself is how many calories am I burning? And in reality, you may be going to the gym and running a tremendous amount of calories, but at the end of the day, it may not shift the needle in terms of the total calories that you need to burn. Therefore, this is the best cardio I've found for all my clients and it has changed the game for them. You're gonna need to do two things. Number one, you're gonna ask yourself, what is your favorite cardio? And the cardio you enjoy the most is the cardio you're gonna do more and the cardio that you're going to be consistent with even after you've gone through your dieting phase. So what I do with my clients is two things. I always ask them, one, how many steps are you getting in a day? Because that gives me the true representation of how much energy they're using in a day. So you may be on the treadmill for an hour However, you only getting 6,000 steps. And when I tell my clients, hey, get an Apple Watch, get a Fitbit, or keep your phone on you, and they can truly see how many steps they're getting, it allows me to be able to have a gauge and truly be able to see what do I need to change to finally get them the rise of results. The best cardio I have seen in my experience is steps, and I'll tell you why. When I've told my clients get 8,000 steps, it is black and white. You're either getting it or you're not. So when you have a watch on or your phone, you can be able to consistently calculate how much your body is burning throughout the entire day, irrespective of being at the gym or not. So you'll find a lot of the times that when I can get my clients to go from 5,000 steps to 8,000 because now they're more conscious, they will finally see results. So what's happening to most of you and why you'll never get lean, you're either doing too little steps or you're doing too many steps. What I recommend is this, track your steps and get 8,000. It doesn't matter if you want to do the jump rope because that is tracked as steps. It doesn't matter if you want to run on the treadmill because that is tracked as steps. Start at 8,000. That is a general rule. That is the first rule I give anybody who works with me. And over the next 16 weeks, I slowly increase that. And just being able to increase my client's steps by a thousand allows them to get an extra 7,000 steps throughout the week. It's small changes that make a big difference. And I know that they can do that consistently instead of saying, hey, you need to do seven sessions of it at 30 minutes, unlikely that that'll be sustainable. So my recommendation is to be able to finally just track your steps, get 8,000. And if you see that you've been getting 5,000, then get 8,000. Another thing that I recommend, if you're unsure of how many steps you're getting or you want to gauge, if you have an Apple device, search for the app Health, and in that app, you will see steps. And then I want you to hit the W for week or the M for month. And that will tell you how many steps you're getting on average throughout the entire month. And you'll finally truly see consciously how many steps you're getting. And then you can make a decision. Hey, I need to do more or hey, I am doing too much. But I like starting at 8,000 and I've had clients get as much as 15,000 when they've really gotten lean and then 20,000. But work your way up gradually. The third mistake I see a lot of people do is eating too little calories calories and I understand why. So you'll go onto Instagram, you'll go onto YouTube and you'll see a lot of contradictory information number one, but you'll consistently hear caloric deficit. As human beings, we want to get results and we like things fast. So what happens is we tend to be very aggressive and we cut calories too quickly. 
I've spoken to thousands of people who've wanted to work with me and sometimes they make the bad decision of saying, hey, I think I could do it myself. And what happens is they'll tell me, hey, Mike, I'm eating 1500 calories and I'm not seeing results. I'm eating 1200 calories and I'm not seeing results. I've heard people who wanted to work with me eating 500 calories and on top of that, taking injections to try and lose weight. And it is painful because I know that they'll never see results. And it's very likely that you may be in that scenario. This is my logic. Number one, the question you should always ask yourself, can I do this for the rest of my life? Because if the answer is no, you're going to start eating more calories at some point too quickly and you'll gain all that weight. And then the second question you need to ask yourself is if I'm eating 1500 calories and I'm not losing weight, you need to be in a caloric deficit. So you need to eat 1200 and we both know that's not unsustainable. The trick is, and I recommend this, if you're eating very little, you're not losing weight and you're frustrated, you have nothing to lose. I highly recommend spend four weeks, maybe even two at maintenance calories. That may be 2,500 calories. That may be 3,000 and that may be scary, but do it because you have nothing to lose. You're not losing weight anymore. But what that will do for you scientifically is it will jumpstart your metabolism. You'll be training harder because you have more energy. Your body will be burning more calories because it needs to burn more calories to digest that food. You'll be giving your body the right nutrients to be able to perform optimally so start at maintenance calories spend two weeks to four weeks and then slowly decrease it but if you're eating too little calories you're never going to get lean because the only logic is eat less and this is one of the main things I see consistently with all my clients so a quick recap number one set yourself a routine to go to bed and set yourself an alarm to be able to get prepared to go to bed number two track your steps and steps is more than enough to be the cardio that you need to finally see the results and number three if you're eating too little calories you've plateaued you've stopped seeing results eat at maintenance for about two to four weeks you're not going to be stepping on stage or anything and then gradually decrease your calories and with that being said a lot of people have different problems and maybe the reason why you've never seen your results is that you've never had someone directly resolve your problem it's the exact reason why you go and see a doctor if you're unsure because the doctor knows from all his studies and all his experience and I am an MD myself so I know how this works if you're a busy professional you're an entrepreneur you're someone who wants peak performance and you want to work directly with me you finally want to get your energy back you finally want to feel better feel more confident change your entire trajectory of your life i'm here for you if you want to work with me go into the description of this video fill out the application to be able to work with me and i personally will get in touch with you and we'll get this party started but with that being said if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful if you found it truthful then gently hit the video with a thumbs up if you're new subscribe comment down below hey mike this is what i'm struggling with and i'm here to listen to you and i'm gonna help you i am in the comments of this video as well and if you just need quick advice that comment section is what it's there for and i'm there to help you and i'll leave the video here these are two amazing videos that will help you in terms of getting leaner so do watch those but i'll see you in the next one